Fights broke out at malls around the country yesterday as shoppers were making gift returns and trying to snag some end-of-the-year bargains. No reported fights here in Jacksonville. It's actually been two years since something similar happened in our area. Channel 4's Janice Harris spoke with shoppers today who say the recent mall incidents do not worry them. Janice? Joy, they're not worried at all. They are saying that they are disappointed about the fact that that happened at any mall anywhere in the country, but they're not going to stop. That's not going to stop them from shopping at a Jacksonville mall here. Groups of teenagers getting into fights in malls around the country. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, teenagers set off fireworks. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says if you ever find yourself caught in the middle of a fight, get out fast best thing to do is to move away from that area. That sounds simple, but sometimes people just freeze up and start staring or just don't do anything. Get away from wherever the violence is. One shopper says he won't stop going to the mall, but he will always pay attention to his surroundings. Just be at work, you know, just usually everything, everyday life, what do you do? You always always look at your sex, make sure you're good. According to CNN, some of the fights that broke out were prompted through social media. Smith says it's important for parents to talk to their children to know where they are going and why. If you have good, honest communication with your teenage kids, have them let you know. Tell them. Have them tell you what's going on. And if you do know of a fight that may be starting at a mall or any type of social media fighting, to notify law enforcement. It's very important. Let them know so they can get the resources over there to stop it from happening. Again, Smith saying it's important for parents to talk to their kids about where they're going, what they're doing, and alert police if something is wrong. Uh, with regard to all of the incidents that happened throughout the country, none of them involved weapons. Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.